Good morning, everyone, and welcome to MJS Coaching Football. Today's topic is going to be 3-4 base defense and how to deal and adjust with versus tight end trade and wide receiver motion, what we call MAC motion or receiver going all the way across formation. And we're also going to talk to you about what we mean by structure. And in these cases, the tight end trade and the wide receiver motion, there is no structure change. So starting off with, as a reminder here, 11 personnel from previous lectures, one back, one tight end. The way we designate tight end location is left or right. So in this particular case, tight end, as you can see, TE is left. And the pass strength is a rip, R for right, rip. Okay, previous lectures. So the way this works, the rover who aligns to the tight end better be the first person to see the trade. As soon as the tight end up and starts running across, he just simply screams trade, which is the trigger to initiate the rope call. Okay, and so what happens is the, the outside linebackers switch responsibilities. Now the dime who's away from the tight end in this case, moves down and covers up the tight end. Same alignment, eight technique, head up, okay? He is connected to the free, who is connected to the whip, who is connected to the rope. We always talk to them about the ropes tied around your waist. So when the dime moves in, it pulls the free, who pulls the whip, who pulls the dime, okay? And so that's how we adjust. We do not run guys across formation. We simply rope. And we do it when we're in man coverage, man under coverage, in our base match quarters coverage. Okay, this is how we adjust. So we always talk about our alignment and the way we adjust is our disguise because we can do everything we want from there. Okay. And as always, any questions, please email me at coachmjsullivan at gmail.com and I'll get back to you as fast as I can. Now what I'd take, like to take a look at, one of the beauties and or problems with a huddle playbook is it's not as quick as you might like it to be, but it's very handy dandy and it allows your players access 24-7 to your playbook. So first of all, let me tell you about what, what does MAC mean. MAC is motion across formation. Okay, we don't use it for anything else. Okay, so this... No structure change. For us, the structure is the backfield, okay? So just like a house, you could have the same foundation, 32 by 24, 36 by 20, whatever it might be, a square foundation, and then the first floor. And then when you start to put the second floor in, and most importantly, the roof line, that's what determines what type of structure it is, what type of house, style. Is it a colonial? Is it a cape? Is it a gambrel, as an example? Okay, see, I, I have a little bit of a building background. Well, for us, it's the backfield that determines. You know, in this case, it's a one back. Mac motion never changes the backfield. Okay, so we start off with whether it's number three or two, whoever's moving, we scream rabbit, 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 rabbit. And then once he crosses the quarterback, we initiate our rope. Now, we'll start to rope sooner if we know the tendency but if we're not sure that's the rule the safeties will start bumping and moving in anticipation as will the boundary but we won't make the actual rope adjustments similar to the tight end trade which is the beauty of it. it's the same adjustment okay until he passes the quarterback now whether it's three or two the free safety will be the one who goes back in the rope not the dime dime remains as an outside linebacker okay so that's pretty important. Another example, okay, we go from our Dallas set. Remember, two by two, one bag, D, double Dallas, T, three by one, right? So this is Texas, leaving a 1X receiver. Again, it's the same deal. We're going to make a rabbit call. There'll be no structure change. We'll initiate the rope when he passes the quarterback, but these guys will start bumping sooner. In fact, the free starts, this number two, excuse me, is there. The freeze already should be over here. The whip won't initiate until he gets the rope call. Then he's going to screw down over number two. 
And then same now, we're going to go from that Dallas set. Now Rabbit's the number one receiver motioning over to the previous Topeka. Okay. Now the boundary is going to be the one screaming, Rabbit, Rabbit, Rabbit. And they're going to, he's going to be running. They're going to start the moving, especially the speed of the motion. We always talk about determines what happens. If he's humping across full speed, these guys will initiate and probably call rope sooner than behind, when he gets behind the quarterback. One last point. The reason you don't want to make it too soon is if the motion isn't fast enough, he can redirect and come back, a little zigzag motion, and catch you. And now you're out of position. Okay? So, again, tight end trade rope in the one-back set. Wide receiver Mac motion across formation, same rope. Again, any questions, please email me at coachmjsullivan at gmail.com.